welcome to another Dust Monkey video. This time I'm doing the much, much promised and often talked about and horrifically delayed Dirty Down video. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking, what the fuck is Dirty Down? Well, Dirty Down is a UK company that makes uh, weathering sprays, which are really, really useful. Although they call them the original aging spray dye. Um, I just call them weathering sprays. But they do absolutely loads. So that's a, a mid-brown. They even do like frost and snow effects. They do like mold, grass stain, khaki, soot black, black, rust, grey, dark brown. This isn't the whole range by the way, this is what they uh, sent me very kindly. Nicotine yellow, uh, a dulling, so you've got like a, a anything that's like a bright metal that you want to dull down. And oh, I've done black. Uh, they also do a series of uh, like weathering uh, wax crayons, which I absolutely love. Uh, some people have done experiments using like regular uh, wax crayons. You can get an effect of regular wax crayons. Uh, if I was given the choice, pack of wax crayons or a uh, dirty down weathering stick, weathering stick wins. Uh, hands down, uh, every time, all day. Um, anyways, as I said, they actually sent me this box of, uh, of sprays to do this video with. Uh, if you've watched any of my live streams, uh, you'll have seen that I've been using their products for years anyway. So this isn't the case of me being like, hey, uh, Dirty Down's really cool because they sent me stuff. Dirty Down's really cool, and then years after I've been using their products, they've sent me stuff. So, yeah, they're generally an amazing uh, company. And they're UK based, you know, and I'm you know, from the UK, so support local. So what I'm going to be doing in the video is I'm going to get a number of different materials and then using the different sprays show you how using the spray you can get a really quick and good look with minimal amount of faff uh, and you know it doesn't require you to have gone out and bought loads of different bits and bobs um, do Dirty Down have a good end result? Yes. Can you get better end results? Yes but that normally requires a lot more tools uh, and a lot more experience. Uh, for something that's quick and easy, uh, nothing beats Dirty Down, in my opinion. But anyway, hopefully I'll be able to prove this to you uh, during the course of the video. So, let's crack on. Oh, and we, well, if you're wondering why I'm, why, why I'm wearing a Vietnam helmet, it's because at the moment I'm doing an absolute ton of Vietnam uh, stuff. Um, flat jacket, helmet, I'm doing a whole M60 gunner. Um, so that's why I'm wearing this right now. Also because it looks cool as hell. Okay, so here we have a uh, toothbrush. Why a toothbrush, you ask? Well, because it's plastic and white, and I recently did one of these up for my Vietnam M60 gunner. And for that one, I just wanted, like, uh, a little bit of dirt on there. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit. Again, the lighting... Now I've got actually got a ring light now, but I think it's almost, like, too bright. So we're actually losing some of the detail. So I wonder if we just turn that down a smidgen. That's up. Oh, wait. Wonder if... For this one... What we want to get is that sort of plasticky yellow you get uh, on certain plastics when they age. And for that, we've got the nicotine yellow by Dirty Down, which is this one. Let's give it a spray. So there you are, you can see that's really changed the colour quite a lot. And what I like to do with these is then using some material you don't care about too much. You just want to give it a bit of a tap. It doesn't look like it's been sprayed and looks more like it's just been aged. There we have that one there. There and the previous one. So now we have what looks to be like a really like manky old toothbrush. It's just like with that age of plastic has been left out in the sun too long. And there is that one. So now with the other one, which I'd started with him but didn't finish, don't want that yellow look. And that yellow look you only get from years and years of a plastic sitting around. What we want now is some light, well, rather they're mid-brown, 
which I have here, mid-brown. The good thing about all of these as well, so a good thing, good thing and bad thing, that these are water soluble. So if you don't like what you've done, or don't like the effect, or if you only wanted to do it sort of, uh, you know, you don't want it to be a lasting effect, it does all come off pretty easily. Actually, an M60 Gunner's toothbrush was used on cleaning the M60, so it would look pretty goddamn disgusting. And what I'm also going to do with that, again, you can see that's looking pretty manky pretty quickly without too much effort on my part, is if we get a little bit of the plain black, a bit of the plain black which we have here. And we just apply that onto the head. So obviously that is the bit where the oil would be the most. Just probably wait for the brown to dry a bit more, but there we are. Look at that head, that looks grim. It looks nice and grim, but nice and quick. I'll just do a bit more of the brown. So very quickly, we have done two very different looks on two toothbrushes. That's example one on what you can do very quickly using dirty dirty down products on example one, which obviously is just plastic toothbrush. So we get rid of that, and then number two is some armour, or some metal. Also they do a rust spray. So let's go and get that rust spray. Ah, there we go, got it. Do it down rust spray. So, this is aluminium, by the way, it's not steel. That's why rust spray might be a good thing to use. Now I don't actually want a rust look on this, so I'll be using it and then, as I said, the water's soluble, and I'll be getting rid of it. Okie dokie then. Now we'll wait for that to dry. So as you can see, that is starting to dry up. But it's still quite shiny, so here is when we give something a go that I've never used before, which is their dulling spray, anti flare spray, obviously, for use on camera. It gets rid and in their own words, reduces unwanted reflections from polished surfaces. So. This one's going to be difficult to tell, of course, because we do have a direct light on it. But in terms of a quick rust effect, if you ignore the glare, obviously because the dulling spray is just still drying, and of course, you know, I have got a light directly on it. But in terms of a quick rust effect for metal, if, if you haven't got much time, you've got a lot of stuff in these doing, or you aren't too comfortable with some of the other ways of uh, getting a rust effect, uh, for example, using some of the rust products out there, you should use a primer, then a, like a paint with sort of, um, iron filings in it, then use a rust activator, or you do some of your, your the home solutions, which you know, again require getting some chemicals and vinegar, or just you know, putting some salt and vinegar on something, leaving it to dry, in which case then, you know, the results are sort of unpredictable. If you want something that you know, you know how it's going to look at the end, and you, you want it done quickly, and you want that assurance, if you don't like it, you can just you know, get rid of it again then this is great. Of course, if you wanted to seal this, you could just use like a matte varnish and that would seal that finish in. Um, but in terms of something like quick and easy, I think you'd be struggle to find something that gives you a better end result uh, on metal than the Dirty Down Rust Spray. Okay, so back on with the Vietnam theme. This is just a plain uh, olive drab t-shirt that I'm going to be wearing underneath my flat carrier and load bearing vest. Uh, but the rest of my kits have been fairly weathered, so the t-shirt should be weathered as well. Again, mid-brown, 
What we want to focus on is where the sweat and dirt is going to naturally build up, which are places like the neckline, uh, arms, sleeves, etc. So let's crack on with that first of all. So you don't want to spray too heavy, you just want to sort of go around and build up that first layer quite lightly because you can always add to it what you can't take away. Which is an inaccurate statement because the dirty down, if you didn't like it, you put this through the wash and this would go. Let that build up and you, then you start to work down into that line of sweat that you would get. Obviously it will dry a bit lighter than it looks right now. So as always, as always advised, get like a cloth or material or something. Give that a good wipe. And you'll see that it's just sort of sat on the surface there looking a bit wet. What you actually get is something a lot more subdued, a lot more natural looking. you notice there you've got some lines from the, sit, the fit fabric. As you see right there. So you want to make sure you go over areas like that. And then give it another wipe. So there, again, you can see really, really quickly, you've got a look that looks like natural sweat or ingrained dirt into a t-shirt. And again, that took like you know, 30, 40 seconds. So again, another great example, that was a Dirty Down mid-brown. Another great example of Dirty Down products and how quickly you can use them to achieve a really fantastic look. Uh, again, without using too many tools, without requiring too much experience. So that is the end of the first of the Dirty Down videos. We covered uh, white plastic, metals, and materials. And we covered the nicotine yellow, mid-brown, and rust spray, and a little bit of the black. There will be more videos on Dirty Down products, but I thought, because there's so many of the different products and sprays, we'll just condense it, otherwise the video would be like half an hour long and no one wants to watch through half an hour of me going, see, that was quick. Um, anyway, so, uh, links to Dirty Down will be in the description below. As always, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. 